Dandelion Productions, blowing fuzzy seeds of entertainment in your face. Oh, so they get a young female Yeti to pose as underage, and then Chris Hansen comes in. And I don't uh, think that's what this is about. You guys American? Big Jake Grizzly. World's greatest hunter. You may have heard of me. And by that he means you definitely have never, ever heard of me. Should we restate our unorthodox premise again, Mr. Grizzly? Yes, it's been a few seconds. You see, our Yeti is very small, unlike, you know, a Yeti. Very funny. Giving me this mullet. Very funny. I mean... How about... Zoe Deschanel! Loaf is wearing his evening formal roadkill coat. Please don't die. It's really good for you. Please, eat it. Golden Corral's new slogan. <laughs> you want to go outside? Quentin Tarantino renounces his foot fetish. Hi. Oh, hi, Meatloaf. I didn't know it was you. You're my favorite customer. Hi, doggy. He looks like a Furby you'd buy at an Eastern Bloc dollar store. She's out there all by herself, you know. Something's wrong. Only rang twice. Oh, I haven't got all day. Come on, little girl. Little kids shouldn't play in the rain. So if it starts raining, go inside. Till then, have a blast. Can you put out an alert? An alert for a stolen Yeti? <laughs> the guys at headquarters would kill themselves. But they brought wow. in here. Guys at headquarters don't sound very stable. Amy's description. Bought a ticket for New York. Say again, it's hard to hear over the Chinese restaurant music. Mr. Grizzly and his assistant are here, sir. Also, your son whipped my scrotum with a hot coat hanger. Who's the lard butt? And a fat kid calls a non-fat guy fat while Meatloaf is in the room? What the hell is going on? It's a monkey with big feet! Not a Yeti! Can't believe you interrupted my guys and dolls rehearsal for this. Even Michael Jackson thinks this kid's into some weird You got a problem? What's the deal with you having a problem? Wesley! A hundred! But they need that money to pay for your junior husky fascist wardrobe. <laughs> Whoa! Dead animal vert flop into a rolling alley? Almost never see that trick! Dude! Still have ten minutes left. Then our green screen rental is up. Hey, what's that noise? Sounds like Yoko Ono's in the back of the truck. Pointless monkeys references may be picked up at the lost and found. We gotta get out of here. Rent a car or something. No, we can't. It's too risky. The Greyhound, then. It's the same thing. I mean, they're looking for us all over town. And besides, poor people? Gross. Stop the train! Stop! Stop the train! I have to kidnap a child and her exotic feral pet. I hope you catch that yeti, Grizzly. Amazing. Someone actually took the time to think up that line and write it down. Upstate New York has a very lax school attendance policy. Kids just love their Brezhnev cosplay. Just sit there and behave, okay? Young meat defers to old meat. We're gonna have to make a decision soon. Are we gonna eat him tonight or tomorrow? I know. Are you hungry? He kind of looks like Barry Gibb. The little girl's mine, remember? Wow, really? He wants to murder another child. It's Clever. funny. Take it's great when a daughter has to loan her father money. Just ask Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> Meatloaf caught. What, what did I say about greeting the cameraman? Well, at this point, I'd do anything for love, even that one thing. Kid, if stuck in the middle with you starts playing, run. I never see them now, Hank. Oh, please. Lucy and Ethel would have them out with only a couple nurse uniforms. She's going to be hammering at that door. She's going to be begging to get in. Lock me to Dunkin' Donuts five minutes past nine. She's good. How good is she? Real good. Be more specific. Not good enough. Oh, OK. Give it up for Doug Benson, ladies and gentlemen. Doug Benson. Begin. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ruins meatloaf like you, honey. Wesley, wait up for me. Life Wesley. means nothing without you, Wesley. But he's a yeti. He doesn't belong here. He belongs in the wild. With Nick Nolte and oh. Gary Busey. They're friends of ours, and we missed them down by the lake. What kind of loaf would you say I am? 
It's amazing they got through airport customs with the Yeti, since he's so obviously a living, breathing, organic creature. Steve Buscemi in the role of a lifetime. Goodbye, Hank. I'll never forget you. Your smell is burned into my nose and eyes somehow. He didn't wave goodbye. Yetis don't wave goodbye. They're not human. They're like slightly more socialized Tommy Wiseau's. And that's it. For all of us, ladies and gentlemen, we caught a Yeti, and now it's time to reflect on how we spent our precious moments on Earth. Goodbye from us and Meatloaf. No, 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 not from Meatloaf. It's time for Riff Tracks. Copyright by Riff Tracks. All rights reserved.